understand. The question is, I have body odor, help. Body odor is a perceived unpleasant smell our bodies can give off when bacteria that live on the skin breaks down the sweat into acids or when we have a health condition affecting our metabolism. Body odor usually becomes evident around the early teens, so around the age of puberty. People who are overweight or have certain medical conditions such as diabetes are more susceptible to having body odor. People who sweat a lot, so those who have hyperhidrosis, may also have extra body odor. Also, our food choices can affect how our body smells. Sweat itself is virtually odorless to humans. It is the effect of bacteria on the sweat that causes the unpleasant smell. Body odor is most likely to occur in our feet, groin, armpits, gentles, hairy areas, belly button, anus, and behind the ears. Each person's unique body odor can be influenced by diet, gender, health, and medications. We have about 4 million sweat glands over the skin, and there are two types of sweat glands that are different in function. There's the eccrine glands, which is a type that is um, consisting of simple sweat glands located almost all over the skin. They produce clear, odorless substances consisting primarily of water and salt, and ACL. There's the epocrine glands. Most of those glands in the skin are located in the groin, armpits, around the nipples, and maybe around the ears, and they are scent glands. Their secretions have a smell, mainly due to the pheromones. They are functional during hormonal stress phases and, of course, around puberty. A lot of the body odor comes from the sweat produced by the epocrine glands. So what causes the foot odor? The main cause is humidity being trapped into closed shoes. Most of us wear the shoes and socks, making it more uh, difficult for the sweat to evaporate giving the bacteria more sweat to break into smelly substances. Moist feet also raise the risk of fungal infections, so this can give off more unpleasant smells. So when to see your doctor about your sweat? Some medical conditions may change how much a person sweats, so you should see your doctor if you start sweating very much at night or if you start sweating much more than you normally do without any logical reason. Or if you have cold sweats, or if sweating disrupts your sleep or social life. Also, if your body smells differently, this is a sign of something wrong in your body. The following steps may help you control your body odor. Number one is to wash daily with warm water you have to have a daily shower, or at least what I would call a cat shower. Dry your body very well after showering, especially the skin folds and feet area. Don't forget to clip your toenails short. Choose your clothing very carefully. Wear only natural made fibers like cotton or silk. Avoid certain foods like curry, garlic, onions, red meat and dairy products they will make your sweat smell differently. So, some experts believe in a diet that is rich in red meat can also raise the risk of developing more rapid body odor. So eat certain foods like green leafy vegetables and ginger because the chlorophyll absorbs strong odors and the ginger has natural antibacterial properties. Remove the hair under the armpits and in the groin area. This will make your sweat smell less obvious. Use deodorant and antiperspirant because the natural deodorants can um, take away the bad smell of your sweat. And you can make it at home using baking soda, for example. 
An antiperspirant blocks the sweating action of the glands, resulting in less sweating. So that's the difference between the deodorant and the antiperspirant. Botox injections can help minimize the amount of sweat, so talk to your doctor about them. Do not take medications without medical advice, because many medications, especially antibiotics, make you more prone to fungal infections affecting your body odor. I wish you all the best. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.